Mindful movement. What is it? Let's talk about it. Mindful movement is a four week online program that I coach every single month. Sometimes we take off a month in the summertime just to have a break because I go on holidays, but generally it's every single month of the year I offer this program and it encompasses three practices that I myself have found so valuable and also it's been proven in research all over in the med medical world, in the scientific world, in yoga and everywhere, the value of movement, meditation and journaling. And I'm going to break down a little bit of why I find those three to be so important to me and why I've included them in this program. So the program initially started out as being just focused on exercise. I started this as a personal trainer. I was certified in 2018 as a personal trainer. I've always loved working out, lifting weights, competitive sports, trying new types of activities like biking, yoga, hiking, snowboarding roller derby, all these things. So I started a training program that was really focused on sort of cross training and staying active and fit in order to do all these other activities. However, over the years, I've learned that just hyper focusing on one element or just having one thing be something so strong in your life doesn't create balance. And I didn't have balance in my life when I was solely focused just on physical exercise all the time. I was definitely feeling disconnected in a lot of ways and I wasn't very happy. So throughout my own journey, I became a certified yoga teacher in 2021. I discovered the value of having connection with myself and that I learned through meditation and journaling. The mission statement behind mindful movement is that it is accessible, that's why it's offered online. It's affordable. It's $44 for one month for four weeks and it's achievable. So the goals, the program, the exercises, the assignments that are all given are meant to be achievable. Time-wise, everything should be able to be completed within an hour, if not less. The actual movement portion is generally about 20 to 30 minutes. Meditation, minimum five minutes and then journaling again minimum five minutes you can obviously continue to practice those for however long you wish but the goal is to keep everything in an achievable timeline so that it's not something that you fall behind on or you feel overwhelmed with throughout the program this program is designed for all levels all fitness levels and the difficulty can be increased or decreased based on where you're at in your fitness journey. And that's something that I can discuss with you more of a one-on-one -on -one because throughout the four weeks, when you register for each program, I'm available 24 seven to answer any questions. It can help with, for example, if you're not able to do certain exercises, I'll give you substitutes. Or if you wanna find ways to make it more challenging, I will also do that for you. But it's all within that four week program. So why is it four weeks long? As a personal trainer, I know that any physical progress in terms of strength, endurance, and improvements like that, that kind of progress you won't really see for four to eight weeks if you're being consistent. So we've made a four week program and if you continue with the program and you do the next month and the next month, you will see results. And every month at the beginning of the program, I provide the same strength and endurance measurement tools to test your progress. You can actually see yourself progress throughout the year, throughout however many months you are doing the program. The movement portion is all about connecting with your body, creating that mind muscle connection, becoming present in your body. For so long when I used to work out, it was about punishing myself and not being happy with my body and wanting to change how it looked and wanting to make improvements or fix things or get rid of things that I didn't like. And I wanna make a shift in the way we think about working out. My goal is when you join this program that you feel empowered, that you feel strong, that you feel like when you do these workouts that you're able to achieve them and afterwards you've got the endorphin spike and you feel like you could take on the world and that you love the body that you're in now, that it requires no fixing, no changing, no anything and that it should just be celebrated. I could go into a rant for hours about how society and the media and things like that have kind of brainwashed a lot of us or put this pressure on us that we're all supposed to look a certain way and have a certain identity. 
but I made enough videos about that that you can go check out. The point is this movement portion is designed to create a loving connection between you and your body. The type of movement that we do is circuits. So we generally will break down three or four exercises into three to five rounds. And every day we target a different muscle group so that you have a balanced approach to your training routine and that you're strengthening all different areas of your body. So for example, Monday we do abs, Tuesday we do shoulders, Wednesday we do glutes, Thursday we do light cardio or yoga, and then Friday we do back and biceps. As part of my training, I wanna make sure that your training is well balanced and that you're getting stronger from head to toe. So the program runs Monday to Friday. So your movement portion is from Monday to Friday, generally, like I said before, 20 to 30 minutes, super achievable, hopefully very fun, and at the end of the day, sustainable. So the point is that we're going to create habits where you're learning to include movement into your day at least five days a week. Next up is the journaling portion. And ever since I was a kid, I loved writing and I love journaling. I have many diaries and many journals and have found them so valuable, not only to express myself or vent or explore feelings, but also to look back on and see how much I've grown and also a way to set goals for myself and manifest things that I wanna happen. And I've made lots of videos about why I love journaling as well. So that is included in the five days, Monday to Friday as well. In every email that you get that includes the workout, you also will receive a journal topic to explore and they're always different and sometimes they're shorter and longer and it's up to you how much time you wanna spend on journaling, but it is something that when we get together as a group, because we have an online Facebook group that we connect on everybody who's registered for Mindful Movement, and we have discussions there about journal topics and it's a great way to connect with others and also just explore your thoughts and feelings on things and just connect with yourself. So movement is designed to connect with your body, Journaling is designed to connect with your thoughts, your feelings, your perceptions, your judgments, and just explore a little bit of that. And last up, we have meditation. And meditation, I know for a lot of people, can be intimidating or overwhelming or just boring. And that's something that I've struggled with definitely myself. Again, I've made videos about this where I struggled, but also found things that work for me. And generally, we start off with like a five minute meditation. And yes, this is included Monday to Friday as well. It's up to you if you wanna participate, but it's something that I strongly encourage because movement connects you with your body, journaling connects you with your thoughts, and meditation really connects you with you. One thing that was told to me during my yoga teacher training was that we are not our thoughts. A lot of times we really connect to the thoughts that we have in our head, and sometimes those thoughts are negative and they're negative about ourselves. But we, and we connect to them and we believe them, and we hold them to be true when they're not true. And it takes some time to deconstruct that, but that's what meditation is about. It's about slowly becoming more and more present in your body and in your mind and realizing what thoughts are there that may be intrusive, that may not be your own, that maybe have come from somewhere else and learning to let them go. And it's really obviously not that easy, but with practice, it is possible. Because one thing I've learned through my own experiences is that just like learning to do a push-up or a headstand or <laughs> squat 250 pounds takes practice, so does writing in your journal, so does meditation. All these things take practice to get better at, to feel more comfortable at, to be successful at, to feel excited about, it takes practice. And so I'm here to coax you along, encourage and motivate and support you in those practices. So yeah, just a few more points. We take weekends off, that's your free time to do whatever you wish. A lot of times people will miss a workout or skip something during the week because of their schedules and that's totally fine. You can always catch up on your weekends as well depending however your schedule breaks down. And we have the Facebook group that runs the entire program and that's where we post and share. We also create a fun playlist for every month with a different theme. And that's always really fun to see the different songs that everyone contributes and picks out. And it really sets the tone for every workout because we listen to them during the movement portion of our workouts. And so the overarching goal for me is to create a sustainable plan that you can follow that's gonna help you incorporate practices into your life that I know are so valuable to myself and I believe can help you as well. And 
ever since life has changed in terms of access to gyms and, you know, going to studios to work out and things like that, I found that this program has really helped me navigate that as well as understand that I don't need to have a gym. I don't need I don't even need to have gym equipment to have a good workout or to get my body moving. And this is coming from somebody who spent years weightlifting and in CrossFit and things like that. And now I just work out at home. I have a couple of light sets of dumbbells and a kettlebell and I do all my workouts from home and I have no desire to go back to the gym. But with this program, if you do go to the gym, I always provide two movement portions and one includes equipment and one does not. So you have the option to go to the gym and follow the the movement portion there or you can choose to follow it at home and if you have no equipment that's totally fine there's an option for that as well so I think that about sums up where we are now with the mindful movement program it's really evolved over the years it started out about two and a half years ago as just an exercise program or an online fit camp and now it's transformed and evolved into something that I think is so much better and so much more balanced and so much more supportive and I hope you give it a try Thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, I have so many other videos on my channel. If you want to check them out, hit the like or subscribe button if you want to support me because that would be great. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.